Hi guys, Luke Jones here, back for Dark Side. And uh, today I am joined by a former guest and three time Challenge Tour winner, David Evans. Thanks for coming on again, David. No problem at all, Luke. Thank you. First and foremost, I want to say a massive congratulations on winning your two year tour card uh, via the Challenge Tour. Mm-hmm. Um, you did that by winning two events in the Challenge Tour. Um, going into the sixth event, did you believe that you could get, go there and do what you did? Um, it, I mean, it was it was always tough to come from from where I'd I'd started off because I mean I only started off on I think it was one hundred and fifty pound. Yeah. Um, so it was always sort of tough in my head to think, am I going to do something? Am I going to get a tour card out of it? Before and honestly, I didn't think so. Um, I knew my game was there, um, but um, after winning the first one uh, on well, the on the second one, sorry, uh, the sixth event, I thought to myself, I've got a chance now. Um, yeah. So it was um, it was uh, difficult after that, but uh, eventually got there. Yeah. Um, on day one, you came through your first game against Ian Joplin to set up the last sixty-four showdown against Fallon Sheriff. Yeah, uh, he averaged 110 in a previous game. Were you yeah. aware? Of, aware? Were you aware of that going into your game? Did you? Did you see that she just did what she uh, just did? Yeah, I did. I did. Um, I did sort of have a look at the game because I, I was playing. It was either Fallon or um, Paul. Something I can't think what he was called. Yeah. Um, but I watched sort of like the first three legs, um, and it was just mm-hmm. unreal. Um, so I thought, uh, well, that's it. I'm I'm going outside. <laughs> I'm not watching this. <laughs> uh, then I found out that it was 110 average, and I just thought, wow, you know, amazing, absolutely amazing. Yeah. yeah so uh, you ended down, <laughs> ended up going down five nil to another outstanding display. Uh, yeah. What were your thoughts after that? Was it just regroup and go again in the afternoon? Yeah, um, to be fair, it's like me, me and Fallon had a laugh about it after after I'd won the follow the the afternoon one. Um, yeah. And she she turned around and said she went. Uh, she said that her beating myself must have given me a right kick up the bum. So, um, <laughs> and and it did to be fair because she absolutely yeah. annihilated me. Um, <laughs> but um, but fair play to her. I mean, what what yeah. um, what what she's doing and what Lisa and Dieter are doing for women's yeah. arts is it's absolutely yeah. amazing. It really is. Uh, well, you did regroup in the afternoon. You started off by beating Tony Newell, if I see. Tony, a very good player. Yep. Uh, and then you went absolutely berserk in a three-match spell. You averaged 101.3, 105.4, and 102.5 in beating James Richardson, Eddie Lovely, and Scott Mitchell, respectively. Yep. Uh, we're thinking, this is my day, I'm going to win this one. Um, after I beat Scott Mitchell, I thought to myself, now, now I've got a chance. Um, uh, and obviously James and Eddie personally as well. And I know Scott as well, after playing on the Modus League with him as well. So um, it's one of those that after I beat Scott, and I knew it was going to be a tough game um, because I've played Scott a number of times. Um, yeah. And it's one of those, I, I look at it and go, well, if, if I get past Scott, then now's my chance. Yeah. Um, so eventually got past Scott, and it was a. I still remember it was a ninety checkout, twenty twenty bull, and the bull went right in the middle. <laughs> so <laughs> probably one of the best bull shots of it. <laughs> um, after that, you beat Colin Osborne, Darren Beveridge, and Richie Burnett to win your fact, second challenge to a title. Was yep. that the first time you thought I could actually win the tour card? Yeah. Um. After the first one, it was touch and go. Um. I was thinking if I keep just keep going. Um, and then the follow the following day in the afternoon, I think I got last sixteen. Um, but yeah, it was in my head, but it wasn't. If you know what I mean, it was sort of can I do it? Can I potentially get another two grand? Can I potentially get another two and a half, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and, and get a tour card? It's yeah. going to be difficult, but I know my game was there, so potentially yeah. yeah. Uh, in the next event, then you reached the last sixteen. Uh, we and in the last thirty-two, you came up with that, came up against Fallon again. Yeah, I uh, managed to get your revenge, edging it out the uh, five four. I yep. know you're a big fan of Fallon, a big admirer of it, so that must have been uh, pleasing. 
Yeah, I mean, it's it's one of those we had, we had, we had a laugh and a joke about it beforehand, and um, you know, as, as as players do. And I said, I, I just said yeah. to her, I said, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna get you back now. I'm gonna get you back. <laughs> and and fa- what Fallon's like, she's lovely, um, and she'll yeah. you know she'll laugh and joke with you and stuff like that. It's brilliant. Um, I think I think we were both sort of a bit average, really. Um, you know, there was a few shots that we missed and a few low scores and things like that. So. Um, it was quite a scrappy game until sort of like the last few legs. Um, but um, luckily enough, I managed to edge that 1-5-4. So, uh, got my revenge back slightly. But, um, yeah. But yeah. <laughs> and you followed the pattern of the previous day uh, by going into the second event of the day. Uh, you put in another spell or some spell of display. Uh, you beat, started off beating Jason Asker with a 96 average. Then be, then Hazel with a 101.7. Then he beat Dave Prince, 97 and a half average. Peter Hedman then obviously one of the top women which you mentioned. Yeah. Uh, 90 as there, Rusty Jake Rodriguez, Nathan Rafferty. And then you, well, you whitewashed Charles Day still then, 5 mil in the final. You must have thought then that uh, surely I'm going to win a tour card now. Um, I mean, it was. It started getting a bit nervy when I was four one up against Nathan in the semis, um, and I had it in the back of my head that if I won that semi final, I'd go top of the top of the table. Um, and I thought to myself, and, and he just kept come firing back at me, firing back at me all the time, and it went four apiece, and and it was my throw, and I just I said to myself, I said, just hold your throw, yeah, just, just hold your throw, and you and and you're in the final. That's it, and you're top of the table. Yeah. Um and it was probably the best twelve dart leg that I've ever done. <laughs> um I know it's definitely the best treble the the, the best uh, double thirteen I've hit, I know that. Um, yeah. single night single nineteen went for big twelve and it went in treble. Um <laughs> probably the probably the best double thirteen of it anyway. <laughs> no one likes the double thirteen, but when it goes no. in everyone loves it. That's it, but when it goes in you love it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Um, on the last day, you went down in the last 256 and last 128. Yeah. Was there limitations of like what needed to happen for you to get to a card weighing on your mind? Yeah, I think I think I think it was one of those I was trying a little bit too hard um, yeah. personally. Um, plus the other thing of um, uh, I think it was sort of being a bit lethargic, sort of. Um, yeah tiredness i think well not not in myself but in in your arm when you're playing you play four events over two days you you think yeah yeah that's fine no problem but then yeah. you think ahead to yourself you've got another two events to do yeah and you start and you start feeling the tension in your arm and it starts yeah, you know, yeah. t- tightening up a bit yeah. um but i think that's that's what it was the main reason was i was i was trying too hard i think um yeah. and luckily enough it um it worked out for me but um not the results i wanted on the final two days really uh, to be fair, the last event you actually played pretty well, but Louis Williams is in good form and he's a brilliant young player. Yeah, yeah, he's a great, he's a great player. I mean, what is he now? Eighteen year old, nineteen year old. Yeah. Um, and I watched his game um, that he played against Richard Burnett, um, yeah. and I think he, he averaged like one hundred and seventeen point something. It was, yeah. Um, and I'm just, I'm stood there watching him. I'm going, oh my god, wow. Um, <laughs> But yeah, um, absolute class player and a top and a top lad as well. And he's Welsh, which is good. And he's Welsh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you did then. Uh, you obviously finished top of the challenge to win an order of merit. Obviously, winning the dart in golden ticket because they're going to give us a place at Ali Pali as well. Yeah. What were your feelings when you realised I topped the I topped the order of merit? I've done it. Um, it sort of. I knew I'd had a tour card guaranteed before the last competition. Yeah. Uh, came down to um, if Scott Taylor beat Keen Barry, um, then I was guaranteed and Scott beat Keen Barry. So I knew I was guaranteed the tour card, but it was just whether I got the Ali Pali spot. Um, and yeah. I actually stayed I actually stayed round and waited uh, till the final game. And there was only one person that could overtake me, um, which was uh, Richie Eddowes. Yeah. Um, and he got to the final against Kevin Dotes, um, and I needed Kevin to beat Richie, and he did. Um, yeah, he beat him five three in the final. So I'm sat there next to Peter Manley, and um, 
watching the game and I'm thinking, oh, come on, come on. And Kevin took out 76 to beat Richie. So I thought, oh my God, that's it. You know, I'm at, I'm at the Ali Pali, I've won. So, um, oh. elation to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> Real yeah, elation. Is it fair to say you owe Kevin and Scott a drink now? Uh, more than one. <laughs> <laughs> more than one. Yeah. Um, obviously, you kicked on from that. Um, you qualified for your maiden Euro Tour, uh, Euro Tour event. And yep. in your first game, you averaged over a 10 and beat in Kai God had 6 3. That must have felt so good. It it was yeah. Uh, I mean, my debut my debut on a European stage. It's um, it's amazing to be on there. So, yeah. um, but to also you know play really well. Um, I mean, Kai Kai threw everything at me. Um, yeah. Everything apart from the kitchen sink, I think. <laughs> um, but I managed to sort of keep myself calm and overcome it and and prove that I am capable of of you know having this tour card and playing against the best in the world. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. And you. Came to a few games to qualify the previous night to me, so that must yeah. be more pleasing. Yeah, of course. I mean, and I think I played five games before um, yeah. before that game. Um, you know, beating a few legends as well. You know, Ronnie Hybrex. Um, oh yeah, he, I beat Ronnie Hybrex, and um, he, he's he's no mugging darts. You know, he's he's oh, proved yeah. he's been there, been there before. Um, and also um, a young Dutch player as well, uh, Wesley Plazia. Um, Great, great player. Um, I mean, his treble nineteen shots are just unbelievable. Um, <laughs> you, you think to yourself, "Oh, you're going to get a shot here," and then he slots two of them in the treble nineteen. So <laughs> it's um, he never goes away from you. Um, but uh, there's so many decent dart players out on out on the Euro tours and things like that that you've probably yeah. never even heard of, and then all of a sudden you you, you know about them when you play them. Yeah, um, it's obviously a real hot bed of darts at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's. Um, I mean, I'd, I'd never heard of Kai before, um, and then he, he, he qualified, and I saw him on the practice board, and he 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 was doing exactly on the same on the stage as what he was doing in practice board. He was hitting one eighties for fun. Um, yeah. But I think the only thing that won me that game was his doubles. His doubles let him down. Yeah. So um, it's like there's uh, been a load on uh, Twitter going round about Bobby George's sayings, you know, scoring for show, doubles for dough. So that's. Uh, <laughs> well, that, so that's the saying. Winning that first game. Uh, rewarded you with a match against Mensah Selivich in the yeah. second round, and he was playing some unbelievable darts that weekend. Oh, amazing! I think you, amazing. I think you averaged ninety four in that game, but you yeah. lost sixty. Uh, but you must have been delighted with your weekend's work, obviously, it being your first Euro Tour event. Yeah, of course. Um, you know, for for it being my first Euro Tour event, um, to average over a hundred against Kai, and then only go down six three to Mensa with a 94 average, but he, I think he had 105 and a half or something like that. Um, and it's like Dan Dawson said in the interviews and stuff like that after, he said, I don't think Dave was expecting this barrage of 180s from Sulevich, you know. Yeah. Um, but I've I've not seen him play that well for a, for a while, but it's nice to see him, him back playing well. Um, yeah. Obviously, I, don't, I hope he doesn't do that against me on the Pro Tour light, but you know. <laughs> um, but it's always nice when, when players are playing well. Um, yeah. You, know, you know, you never want anyone to play badly. Obviously, if it's for a half a million pound, then you do. But, yeah, it's, yeah. Um, <laughs> but it's one of those. It's nice to see him back playing well, and what a gentleman he is as well. Yeah, and then he went and well, he should have got to the final uh, last weekend as well. He missed four. I think he missed four match starts to beat Michael yeah. Van Gerwen. So mm-hmm. he's playing some of the real stuff. Yes, yeah, and it's nice to see. Um, yeah. Obviously, um, all, all the guys that are going to be on the tour that are on the tour at the minute, it'd be nice to obviously. Um, being amongst that for the next two years, learn learn from it and get some experience from it as well. So, so what are your goals now? You know that you've got that two year tour card, and you know that you're going to be playing at Ali Pali. So first and foremost, what's your aim for the World Championship? And then following now, what's your aim for your two years on the tour? Um, aim for the World Championship is honestly just enjoy that one. Um, enjoy yeah. it. Um. I know I'm playing well at the moment. Keep the practice up beforehand, um, but first and foremost, just enjoy it. Um, yeah. That's the main thing. Um, from January onwards, obviously two years on the tour. That's when the hard work starts. Um, yeah. You know, the hard work starts obviously before the World Championships. But the main hard work is 
um, to try and get myself in the top 64 um, over, over the two-year period. Um, so if I have a good first year, which I'm going to I'm going to aim for a decent first year, then I can sort of keep pushing on for the second year after that as well. Maybe you could do a Glen Derrant and qualify for the match play, Grand Prix, everything in the first season. There we go. We never we never know. You never know. You know where, where, <laughs> where, where, where there's where there's form and heart, there's always there's always a possibility. Exactly. Well, thank you for joining me again, David. Um, no problem. It's been brilliant seeing what you've been doing the last two weeks. Um, I'm so chuffed to you getting that place on the pro tour. Um, just wish you all the best and enjoy your first game. Enjoy your World Championship, first CDC World Championship, and then just enjoy the two years on tour. Thank you very much, Luke. Take care, buddy. Thank you. You too. Cheers, Thanks, Dave. Mate.